Hello YouTubers and this is uh Black Source Shinobi Dojo blog. Um No. Uh just one minute. I need to get my notes here. Okay. Um we're gonna talk about the black powder. Um the core you need you to. Um uh, smoke devices and you know fire mostly fire bombs it's one of the traditions of um, a shinobi um, and also to make your own black powder but sometimes it's not taught in the schools anymore um, because they just cut it off as tradition um, as as, a, as you see here this is a thing of black powder I have to show you Let's see I need more ingredients to uh, make it official. It smells like gunpowder right now, but I guarantee you, I think I'm missing a couple of ingredients. Um, but that's all good. It's the start. Anyways, I made this last year, and. It's roughly affordable to make. If you think about it, it's regularly affordable to make. Um, other smoke devices, just wait a minute here. Other smoke devices, this is gunpowder, so it's different. This is not a smoke device, but it can be used for starting fires, um, blowing up shit, um, distractions, make little poppers, and change the ingredients, and just use the main ingredients, which I cannot tell you the other two ingredients, but the charcoal is the main ingredient. Um, you can make black fog. Okay, so getting to the point of smoke devices, I bought these for examples. No, these are not cherry bombs. These are just plain old smoke bombs. I tested these out to get a roughly um, estimate of what type of smoke will come out of these things. Um, not very much. I give these about like a C minus because they don't produce that much smoke, but this is a little. But but what I'm willing to do is crush these up, start crushing these up, and find out how much I can make of this. use it for a reference because if you think about it um, smoke devices could be used for pretty good handy stuff escaping uh, the tenon or uh, making a uh, distraction also and everything like that but According to Jisoo, is part of the whole training process. A lot of people say, um, it's just a tradition and everything, and it's not part of the training. I uh, pay the difference. I like the old style better because the old style, um, compact it 
these traditions as training. Um, smoke devices, fire, uh, extractions, bombs, everything like that as a whole training session and everything like that. So Kori Nijitsu has a little bit more than that to me. Somebody else might be saying, oh, that's the terror stuff. It's not the terror stuff. This was done back in the 15, 16, 17, 18, and then roughly dying art. 19th century came. Gunpowder was used as something different. Basically on the same lines, but something different it's like making uh, bullets and stuff like that, but basically on the same um, the same lines. Bombs and stuff like that during, you know, during World War II and stuff like that. So, in a way, that was put into use as a training for Japanese soldiers at that time. But, but nowadays, if you really want to catch real good ninjutsu, it has to be authentic. You know, it really has to be authentic. I mean, everything from the situation of training with that and the other training. You know, all the traditions and everything like that. So, um, this one vlog is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. Uh, I will try to perfect this and test this. Now, believe it or not, this much ounce can probably blow up the hand and part of the arm. But, when I make this, I don't use any metal objects. Metal objects can cause a um, static charge and poof that's it you know so other than that the gunpowder it is part of my training and it might seem a little bit old fashioned but yet it does get you results in real actual training experience um, you know if you think about it traditions could be used as a training aid for the real stuff and that's it for this and I'll see you in the next vlog